afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and I thought I would review the wonderful play here today of APOL. APOL gap down, and as you can see here, it closed the night before at 1554, and it opened this morning at 1362. So if you take my class and you learn the Golden Gap 26-point rating system, you would get up in the morning way before 9.30. In fact, you could have actually done this last night. Again, I like to look at stuff in the morning, but you could have looked at this last night. I actually did look at this last night because I really, I'm actually off this week and I wasn't gonna trade at all. And then I saw this thing. So I thought, well, and I rated it. I rated it this morning and it rated per the system to actually do as a gap in the day is short. And as you can see, it worked, okay? So the dream target I had in this was around 1265-ish. This got within seven pennies of the dream target. I like to be out early in the morning, but I actually could have held this and made more money. But, you know, it's just the idea of getting out so fast is something that I love in the market. I really don't want to spend my whole day trading. I really don't want to spend my whole day working. Here's the amount of money that I made today, $1,939.23 that I made an APOL in 15 minutes. So, you know, could I have made a little bit more in this? Yes. Actually, let me just figure out how much I made in one of this. 30, well, yeah, it would have been around 30 cents times 5,000 shares. I would have made another $1,500 in this if I'd stayed in it to the low of the day. But, let me just figure that out. I would have been in it until 3.30. All right, hold on. 1939 divided by 60. Hang on, hold on. Nineteen thirty-nine times four. Seventy-seven fifty-six. Seventy-seven fifty-six divided by sixty. I'm just trying to figure out my hourly rate here, basically. 3.30. So 9.30 and 3.30. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. So I would have made, hold on, if I had stayed in this, I'm just trying to figure out my hourly rate divided by. See, that's, listen, this is really important. I just figured it out, which is something that I've always known in, instinctively. The amount of money that I made for the hourly rate in this stock today, okay, far exceeds what I would have made if I had held it all day as far as the hourly rate, meaning the quantifier of the amount of time that I spent that I would have had to sit here and do the trade and actually spend time out of my life. And the ultimate thing is that time is money, and I have other things to do with my life, okay? And whether they are things for fun or work, it doesn't matter. It's to the point that it's other things I could be doing in my life. So the amount of hourly percentage of profitability and production and profit that I would have made in this, which is the trade that I did, which is get out quickly, is the highest percentage of profit that I could have made in this trade all day, even if I stayed at 3.30. In other words, could I have made more money? Yes. I would have made $1,500 more if I stayed in until 3.30 Eastern time, but my hourly rate would have been far less. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is actually really important. Is everyone listening to me? This is actually really, really important. The hourly rate of the percentage of time of the trade that I took, which I shorted this here into the drop, here's why I did the exit, in APOL, the amount of money that I got paid for my time here is the highest that anyone could possibly get paid. If I had stayed in the train to almost the dream target and basically the low of the day, all right, it went into that area around 3.30 Eastern time. I would have been in the trade, okay, for from 9.30 approximately to 3.30. So this is where I think there is this disconnect for people that trade the market. They think that trading longer or trading all day or taking more trades benefits them, but it doesn't. And when you elevate your whole consciousness, basically, to understanding that you can make this much money 
in this quick of a time and be that exact, that's where you want to be. Because the idea of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, your hourly rate actually is decreasing. So I am making the maximum percentage of amount of money that I could possibly make in the shortest period of time and the maximum amount of hourly rate that I could possibly make in the market in the time that I trade. And that is the benefit of learning from me and taking the Golden Gap class and learning the 26-point rating system and the entries. Could you have stayed in this longer? Yes. Did I have the targets for this? Yes. Could I have stayed in this? Yes. I was up. I was up and in. I was up and in even through the rally. Back, I would have been positive in the trade. But the point I'm trying to make is that this move down in here, as far as the time amount of your day, is that you are actually making less per minute, per hour, than you are in the trade here. And then I have the rest of the day to be productive myself or have fun, which is just invaluable to me at this point in my life. So a very important lesson in APOL here for people. But let's just go back to the trade that I did very quickly. As far as the morning goes, I get out near the low of the day. Target was 13 for one of the targets. There actually were three targets on this prior to 13. But I did believe and have 100% conviction it would get to 13, and I held it all the way down. Got out in here, boop, in this bar in here right before the low, and then it touched on 13 and bounced. And that was the morning move. So I'm looking for the money move. There it is, right in there, boom. And I got it. I mean, I hit this thing boom, as hard as I could. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gap in APOL. Be careful, everyone, if you trade this week. I may not do anything in the rest of the week. Okay, I'm off this week, actually. I'm off this week. It's a holiday. It's vacation. Everyone that runs hedge funds or institutional traders will be leaving by Thursday or Wednesday night because it'll be like a million hours to get to the Hamptons where people drive out to on Thursday. Traffic will be terrible Thursday afternoon and Friday to get to the Hamptons. And so people will be leaving Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Market will be nowheresville on Thursday and Friday the market's closed. So keep in mind, if you trade with institutional money and you trade on the side of hedge funds and banks, you won't get anything on Friday. Or, I mean, Thursday, which is before Friday. Friday, the market's closed. So be careful this week, but beautiful gap and golden gap in OPOL. And I'm looking forward to earnings season, July, next week, and August. I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, there's people in the room that are actually increasing their risk because it's just been so great doing my system this whole year, really, 2015. It's just been an amazing year. My trading has been getting better and better and better. And as I pointed out in many webinars, if you are good at what you do, over time, you should make more money, which I'm doing. And you should also get better in your trading, which I'm doing as well. And so are the people that are trading with me. Congratulations to everyone of the Stockswish students who did APOL today. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. Have a wonderful July 4th. If you would like to sell up for the night, Golden Gap class. It is July 11th and 12th. Email me at melissa at the I'm running some specials through the 4th of the holiday. I'll be around. I'll be here and there enjoying my fabulous life in New York City. And actually, I think I'm going to see fireworks from my apartment. So we'll have to see, which will be Saturday night. If I do, I'll take a lot of pictures and I'll send them in the emails next week. Have a great night, everyone.